My name is Bogun Chi. I'm one of the air freight directors at CH Robinson. Today, I'm going to be talking about metering your freight to help navigate today's challenges. Even though air freight demand for PP is cooling down, it's still worth mentioning that this is an effective technique to help reduce your overall freight spend for almost the same result. This technique applies not only to PPE, but general cargo as well, especially during peak seasons. The need for PPE is not going away anytime soon, and as general cargo comes back, there will be greater demands on capacity. So let's take a look at what metering your freight means. During normal conditions, most lead time calculators work, but when disruptions and abnormal peak seasons occur, they don't. Exception management takes over, but often with very little collaboration between purchasing, sales, the factory, logistics provider, and the end user. So why is this important? When delays happen throughout the supply chain, the transit time for air freight and ocean freight start to get much closer. So asking yourselves, how much of that PO do you really need to fly? How much of that is safety stock? What's the end user consumption rate? And what's the output rate of the factory? Having a cross-functional conversation may reveal that only a portion of your PO should fly and the balance out of it should be shipped as ocean freight. Air freight just enough to match the end user's consumption rate. And as ocean freight catches up, it can significantly reduce your freight spend. A thoughtful logistician can help you facilitate this conversation. We can help you with the designing of the solution. So contact one of our subject matter experts. We like solving problems. Thank you for watching this quick video and look for more future videos related to PPE from CH Robinson soon. Thank you.